What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason here and in today's video I actually wanted to go over the OpenAI API and how we could use it to build an app that, um, that generates an image based off a prompt. And this is a really cool feature and a really cool resource actually that OpenAI has allowed for us to use. So shout out to them and, and you can go here, the link will be in the description to open up the API. You just have to sign up, you can use your Google account and then you can review the documentation it talks about the other models and stuff that they have what we're worried about is image generation you see it's using the dolly models which are the it's the image generation models that OpenAI has built i don't know if this, if they're if the current api is using dolly 2 or dolly 1 that is a good question Maybe if, if one of you guys know, let me know in the in the comments below. But what we're, we're looking for is right here, images. And what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a Postman and go over how to create the API. You can skip that part if you want. The ch you can use the chapters to, to go to the Xcode part if that's all you're here for. So yeah, let's open up uh, Postman. And let's try to get this working. So to generate an image... You're using this URL here. And one thing, actually one thing before is uh, you wanna make sure that you have an API key. So you wanna go to your personal API keys. And when you first have an account, you don't have one, so you have to create a new one. And it'll be here. So you, that, you're gonna need that for, the, for making the network request. So let's go to documentation images all right so let's do this oh i already copied and pasted it and now we need to add in the headers so headers this is by default postman does that for us so we just need the authorization authorization is bearer and then actually i need to get my api key all right, let's copy this. You won't be able to view it again. Oh, that's something important to note because I didn't. So let's delete this revoke key. And you just paste it here. And I know I said that Postman brings it in by default, but I'm gonna leave it here just so I remember when we're putting this in Xcode because in Xcode, um, you might get an error if you don't when, I might forget that to, to incorporate this and then it might not work the network request. And then all we want to do is copy this JSON here and then you put that in the body of the, the network request. You go to raw and when you go to raw make sure you have JSON selected here and then just paste it and do you guys want let's, let's see a cute baby sea otter. Let's do send. Oh yep. Yeah. One thing I put, yeah, this has to be a post, a post request, I believe. Yeah, it's a post request. All right. Now we should, it takes some time to load because it's generating the image. It's not like they have these ready on the spot. So let's open both of these. So the first one, oh, oh my God, what is this face? Maybe it's the angle. <laughs> this one, oh, this one's nicer, right? This is, this is nice, this is nice. And yeah, that's basically what, uh, that's how you do it in Postman. Now we have to do this in Xcode. So we're just going to build an app. We'll call this, let's call this Dolly. Wait, how do they spell it? All right, so we're going to create the app. And let's create a network service first. We'll call this API service. API service. All right, so in our API service, we're gonna have these two functions to start off with. Um, one is gonna be our, our fetching our image prompt, and then one is gonna create our URL request because we're gonna have to manipulate the URL request. You see here, I passed in a few a few different variables like the method we wanna use for it and the URL, because that could change. As you saw in the, in the Dolly 2, where is it? Like you could be using a, a quite a, a different 
URL basically. You can use uh, there's a quite a few different URLs that you can use. And so just so we can reuse this function, and some of them are get and some of them are post. So just go, again, so just so we can reuse the create URL request function. So opening up Postman actually before we start. So one thing, so we need to do two things actually here. Uh, we need to get this request. And then once we get this request, we need to download this image. We're going to need to decode a response here. So actually, let me write this here. And it's a simple response, I guess. <laughs> so we need a struct response. And we need this to be decodable. And we just care about the data. And data is an array of objects. What should we call this object? Let's call this object uh, image URL. And struct image URL decodable. And that's just a, a URL, URL string or string. That's called URL. <laughs> All right, and that's what we're going to use to decode our data from the network response. We'll call that fetch image URL equal. I should need to grab this, so let's open up Postman. Right, and then we need to let URL request equal. So we're going to try. Create. So for this network request, it's a post. And what is the URL? The URL is the fetch image URL. And the prompt, we'll just pass in the prompt that we receive. Once we have our network, uh, our URL request, we can just create our data response. Try away URL session. Shared data for or from URL, wait, we need a URL request, so. All right, and in here we need to let decoder, we need to decode the data. Let decoder equal JSON decoder and let results equal Decoder dot decode response dot self from data and then let image data call this image response. We basically we made one network request, now we need to make another one. And uh, oh this is a try. Can't forget that. Let image URL equal or no, results dot data dot we'll just do the first index because we're only doing one dot URL and for here we do try away basically one I'm just gonna copy this over so I don't have to you do try away, but this time you're gonna do the image URL and what else do we need this time? Oh, we need to convert the image. So guard let image URL equal image URL. Call that image URL equal image URL else. Else we're gonna throw. So since we're throwing, we need to create a, an enum. Let's create it here. Enum API error conforms to error. Case, what is this case? Unable to create image URL. 
Well, all right. So now that we have our data, and one thing you might want to do here is handle your responses. You might want to guard let to make sure their status code is 200. Um, oh, this is URL from string image URL. All right. And now that we have our image data, we need to convert it into an image. So let image equal uh, UI image from data, image data. Oh. Else, I'm able to convert image. data into image. All right, what is this yelling at us for? Oh, I see the other one was a, this one we need. All right. I'm not going to return image. And now, now this function is all set. Now we do need to create our, our number request or our URL request, I should say, which is a little bit more trickier, but it's not that bad. So first thing we're going to do is guard let our URL into an actual URL. So string URL and we want to throw if this doesn't go through. So throw, what do we throw? We'll call it that. And unable to. Da -da. Okay, now we create our. Now we can create our URL request. URL request. Dot URL. And what do we need here? So we need the method. We need the headers and we need the body. And with those, we'll be good to send the, the URL request. So the method is simple since we just passed it. You do the HTTP method, HTTP method, headers is, oh no, you go to URL request and then you go to add value. Let me just do this twice because we need to add two headers and I'm about to open Postman so we can copy that stuff over. We go to our headers, you go to authorization and I'm copying and pasting it just so I don't have any uh, like typos because it will mess up your network request and you'll be like, what the heck? See, can I highlight the whole thing? Make sure you have the whole, the whole string highlighted when you copy it over. All right, and that's it for our headers. <laughs> Funny thing here, I actually didn't realize I, I flipped these, like the way they're actually supposed to be. Like, let me show you. And I'm trying to run this now, and I was having errors, but I didn't realize it's because I flipped these. So the the value goes first, and then the and then the the type of header that it is. So do it here. It goes to show you have to be careful. <laughs> and one thing I forgot to do here too, actually, is you can pass in the API key that we have up top. And now we just need the body. And for the body, we need to do something a little a little different which is we're going to create a, like a dictionary and then we're going to use JSON serialization to convert it into JSON to pass it into our URL request. So you create an array and then it's like a dictionary. So you have a key value pairs, which will be our body. So you do the prompt and the string for this one will be the prompt that gets passed in. 
then you have n for the number of images and for us we're just going to use one and then you have a size and the size they use is pretty it's a, it's a decent size all right and we'll call this json body and then what else do we need to do with this so we can't just pass it like this we actually need to we need to call the URL request body, and then you do try JSON serialization data with JSON object, and then you just pass in this JSON body. And that's it. That's our URL, URL request. And we're, it looks like we're good to go. Let's, let's try to run this and see what happens. Wait, let me make sure you have response to code. In the URL, so in the view controller here, I've just I laid out an image view, fairly simple, and now we just need to make the uh, the network request. So task try await API service dot fetch prompt for, and the prompt I'm going to use is the same one I had in the in my in one of my previous videos. If you guys saw the video on stable diffusion. It was an astronaut riding a horse on Mars. <laughs> I should check it out. And I should actually have an, let me have an image in here. Uh, UI image, system name, let's do person. All right, so the image thing is there. And let's do a do catch to let us know if we're getting an error. Oh, one thing I realized too is we're making this and we're not doing anything. So we're making this network because we're not doing anything with it, which is <laughs> image that image. We actually we need to do this on the main actor. So you do await main actor dot run and image view dot image equal image. If I spell image right. All right. And it looks like we have an error. So let's try to see where we are. All right. And make sure you did this. Otherwise, you're going to have errors. Let's see. Hey, ah, I like it. I like it. Let's do some corner radius though. All right, image. Corner radius 10 image dot clips. So oh, my camera cut off. Clips to bounds equal true. Again, and I think it should be different too because they're these are like randomly generated. Ah, there we go. <laughs> hey, so sh thank y'all for tuning in for this episode. Uh, it was actually pretty fun making this and playing around with API. I'll make a second one where I add in more functionality on the Swift side where you can, uh, I'll add like a text field and like a button to actually make the network request and maybe like a little activity spinner while it's loading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Share it to a friend. Let them play with some AI, you know. The future is here, people. The future is here. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I hope y'all have a good day. Enjoy the new year. And peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect play. I'm a piece of the bus when I fit where you need me, baby.